Morning, my friends. Let's make another, another Robert Green video. Then it's too much of a downer. I'm gonna have to move on from Robert Green, but boy, Robert Green is um, everything I've ever talked about. So this is gonna be absolutely horrifying. Of course, I haven't watched the video at all, but we understand Robert has the mental illness, so we understand his characteristics. We can pretty much predict everything Robert does before he does it. So um, this one, yeah, it's going to be extremely horrifying. How to train yourself to see through fake people. Well, let's see. You'd have to do a lot of work on yourself to not be a fake person yourself. Um, so Robert here is going to explain to us his narcissistic personality disorder. Robert can't tell the difference between an ego, a true self, and Robert only knows his ego. So Robert is going to tell you his narcissistic, it's exactly the live stream that I just um, finished, the premiere that I just finished recording. And it, that'll be live at three o'clock today. I think I'm just going to put this video out and then the, the next, the one I did before this will be live. And Robert explains how he hires people. And he hires people through whether he likes you or not. And he literally said that your talents and your skill, you being qualified for the job is offensive. Yeah, you probably thought that that was my comedy all these years. And now we literally have a person saying your talent and being qualified for a job is offensive. And what's not offensive is if you have narcissistic personality disorder. Robert wants to hire you if you have mental illness and he calls it offensive when you're qualified for the job. So knowing that about Robert, um, what's Robert going to say? What's Robert going to say about this? The title again is how to train yourself to see through fake people. Robert is somebody with NPD. Um, Robert believes he is his ego. This is going to be hilarious. Robert's just going to explain to us the ego. There's no ro way Robert could ever know a true self. And anything that would resemble him talking about a true self is him just copying while he replaces it with the ego because Robert only knows his ego. He knows how to plagiarize from Alan Watts, but when Robert tries to explain it, it just turns into the same old NPD over and over and over again. Is train yourself to... We need to bring back the insane asylum. These fucking insane people think that their mental illness is enlightenment. Past the front people put on. So this is sort of very similar. Train yourself to see their mythology. Look for signs of their true character or true signs of their character. How do we do this? The example... I I'm laughing. See their mythology? Here's a real person. He's asking how we do this. Robert only has... If they have NPD, it means they're a good person. This is going to be hilarious. Ask the front people put on. So this is sort of very similar. Th this is a regular person. Th this is a regular person that has to get real shit done in the world. This, I mean, this is going to be, how, how is Robert going to respond to somebody asking real questions and wanting real answers? Train yourself to see their mythology. Look for signs of their true character or true signs of their character. How do we do then, this? Then I'm going to brace you. I'm going to brace you. The camera is going to turn over to Robert and you're going to be disgusted by the way Robert looks because he's a walking, talking personification of the mental illness. So I'm letting you know the camera is going to switch to Robert and you're probably going to puke on yourself. You're going to get very sick when you see how disgusting Robert looks. The example you give in the book is Howard Hughes. He was actually a terrible businessman, but yet... But he, he said it. Uh, it's an inside joke of mine. Let me open you guys up to an inside joke. Spoonman. Uh, that's it. That's all. That's all. It's just funny to say that. That's all. You know the song? You know Soundgarden? Spoonman? There's nothing dumber than Soundgarden and the, the song Spoonman and the whole Spoonman thing, but... What's fucking hilarious for for no reason at all just because it is to say spoonman spoon <laughs> and this guy or true you know isn't that what's funny about inside jokes 
you got to be on the inside of the inside joke for it to be funny. For everybody else on the outside, you'll be saying, what the fuck is so funny? Okay, you say spoon man. That's the correct way to say it, spoon man. And then you think it's funny to say spoon man? Yeah, I do. I do. Character. But then if this dude said sp- uh, uh, said it that way, what, what does he say? How do we do this? The example you give in the book is Howard Hughes. He was actually a terrible businessman. But you- businessman, business spoonman, Sp- businessman. There's some accent that says that where I'm I'm making fun of like British people. I'm just making fun of us all. I'm just having fun with we all talk different. But there's one accent that says man like moon like spoonman is Howard Hughes. He was actually well. He just did it. He just did it. What what accent is he that he just did um, the spoonman for me? It was great. Loved it. Terrible businessman. You know, but- while all of these people think that they're serious people. Did you know that that's me? That's more serious than these people have ever been in their entire life. My stupid, my stupid inside joke. That's no joke at all of, Hey, isn't it funny spoon man? And then Spoonman. We're I'm more serious with that than these people have ever seen in their entire fucking lives. Uh, Well, uh, especially Robert green. I mean, this dude's just a regular dude. Like you are, like I am, somebody that has to get shit done in the world. Most people think of him as this like brilliant creator. And meanwhile, he was, according to the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, peeing in bottles in a room and made a plane that didn't fly, or at least didn't fly well. Right. Oh my God, are you fucking sick looking at this guy? Oh my fucking God. Look at his, like, th- he's perfect. I mean, this the mental illness that Robert has... For some reason, and you know this, it's a weird characteristic. You would just know that Robert would have this record player over here. It doesn't matter that he has this stupid record collection that he thinks is like, like Robert's cool guy with the record. Like you just, uh, these mentally ill people, they have the same stuff. They talk the same way. They, they're the same fucking crack addicts. So it's actually something that we could predict. We could absolutely predict that he has this record player and it's this model and uh, the same one that I had when I was a kid. Well, my parents had. That's the kind that your parents had if you were a 1970s kid. Well, the idea is that um, people have patterns in life, right? And the patterns reveal what I call their character. And character is something very deeply ingrained in a person. Oh, it's the same thing. Robert's giving us the same exact speech. Oh, shit, for my premiere live stream that's coming up later on today. Wow, he's repeating it word for word. It's that genetic component we talked about earlier. He, he thinks it's genetics. These these mentally ill people, they don't know your true self. They think it's your DNA. Doesn't make sense, bro. Bro, What? who is me beyond my ego? Um... You've learned that at the mystery school. We've done that through all these hardcore videos that I make. You learn the difference between your true self and your ego. And then you ask Robert, okay, who's me beyond my ego? And Robert goes, your DNA. Well, that doesn't make sense, Robert. I'm a real boy, Robert. Look at me talking. Look at me animated. Look at me alive out here. And I'm saying, hey, Robert, what makes me alive? And what makes me animated? And what makes me me, Robert? And then Robert goes, your DNA. And I go, Robert, that's not explaining how I'm me, man. I'm I'm alive. I'm a living boy. I'm alive out here. And then he points to my DNA. That's not my true self, Robert. Because Robert only knows his ego. Robert doesn't... That's what they do. They believe that you are your skin. So you ask Robert, okay, what am I beyond my ego? And Robert goes, your skin. And I go, that doesn't make sense, Robert. And then Robert goes, your your, your genetics, your DNA. And you go, that don't make sense, Robert. Deeply ingrained in a person. See, uh, like... I try to take you guys there, but you don't want to go there. You want to learn from me. I try to take you to where I've learned how to be like this. There's a way. I mean, I, of course, I've learned my entire life from everything, but it's Buddhist stuff. It's really like the story of the Beatles. You know, the Beatles are a bunch of dumb, dumb shits just like we are. They sing a, a bunch of a love songs for kids. It's fun, fucking dumb shit. And then the Beatles... They went over and learned Eastern stuff from swamis. And really, it's an education from a swami. 
that really opens your eyes. It re- uh, an, A swami is going to bust you on all of your fake belief system. A swami is going to be so brutal. That's why the mystery school videos that I make are so brutal. I'm, I'm sharing with you what I've learned from swamis. This is how swamis do it. Um, it's like no match. You people are just so used to your westernized shit. You're, you're not used to asking these questions. As in, I'm talking to Robert right now. Robert has never seen somebody like me. So I'm able to penetrate way far outside of what, what Robert can comprehend. Robert only knows his mental illness. Every, uh, you know what I know? Everything of me has been challenged. Every belief system I could ever fucking have, anything I could ever try to believe in, everything of me has been challenged and challenged again and challenged again and challenged again. And Robert has never challenged himself with anything. It's in life, right? And the patterns reveal... Like, I want to take you guys there. I try to, I try to upload some like swami stuff every now and then and i try to tell you this is how i learned guys this is how i learned to think outside the box i've always been outside the box but where's a where's a way where i've lear- really learned how to confront somebody like robert it's the way that a swami will confront you but but i find you guys you 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 just and that's fun that's fine that's the way that you want to do it you guys go fuck that swami shit you teach me it you you guys want to learn from me and not where I learned from. And then that's great. Cool. That's what makes me the teacher of the mystery school. Um, people have patterns in life. But, but see, I'm just trying to share with you that an education from a Swami, you're get, and you get it from me. You're getting it from me right now. You get it from me all the time. It is so far above the things that Robert says. The things that Robert says are so incredibly dumb and childlike. And I want to give you, but I do. I, I give you this education every single day. And I want you to, to rise so much higher than this. You are so much better than this. You are so much more intelligent than this. Well, the idea... I want you to know that it's not my opinion. I want you to know that this is what a real teacher of an esoteric school is. I want you to know that it's more than me, that you can go look at the swamis and the things that I do, the questions that I ask Robert, the way I bust Robert, the way that I approach all of this is the same way that a swami would approach all of it. And do you remember, I've done them over the years, the videos that I would make, the scientist versus mystic? Well, see, the mystic is uh, the mystic is so far beyond the scientist. The scientist is a fucking idiot caught in its own stupid shit. That is basically Robert. Robert versus m- mystic versus scientist. Scientist is an idiot compared to the mystic. Is that huh? the the scientist thinks that we're all equally stupid? The scientist is exactly Robert, and then the Swami actually has real intelligence far beyond somebody like Robert. I want to show you that what I do is a real thing, even though you already know. I, I want you to know when I'm battling Robert, I'm not just talking my opinion. This is a real thing that you really learn. You learn how to do what I'm doing. The way I'm talking to Robert, you learn how to ask these questions. You know how you learn it? Because you've learned how to be honest with yourself. You can only do all these things that I do. You can only ask the questions that I ask. You can only think the way that I think when you've done all of these things. People have patterns in life, right? And the patterns reveal what I call their character. And character is something very deeply ingrained in a person. It's that genetic component we talked about earlier. It's the early education part of them. It's something so deep inside that they can't control it. No, Robert. There's a diff- Robert doesn't know his true self. And he thinks that it's DNA. And Robert is his ego. Robert has never known his true self. He believes that he is his ego. He believes his ego is his true self. You have a character and I have a character. And what it does over time is it creates patterns. We end up having... He, he can't figure out that the character is the problem. 
He can't figure it out. He starts at, okay, I'm a character. Hey, Robert, logical fallacy already. He's like, he, that's his basis. He, he starts with, like, that's okay. Like, he started correctly. Like, okay, I'm a character. That's the ground floor of it all. No, Robert, you got to go deeper. No, just like you said, Robert, it's deeper. You got to go deeper. You got to go beyond your character. Robert. And Robert starts with, all right, baseline is my, I'm my own character. No, see, Ro Robert, the problem is, is that you're your own character. That's not baseline. But for Robert, he can never penetrate this. Robert will always believe that he is his own ego. The, you know what it gives it away? How we know Robert believes he is his own ego? Because his baseline is, I'm a character. Your true self isn't a character. Your true self is beyond all characters. You, you play a character just by being a human being, by, by you um, c coming through a human body creates a character like Shakespeare. Once again, Shakespeare taught us all this by saying the world's a stage and everybody's an actor on it. Yes, you, by you being a human being, you are working through the ego that makes you a character, but your true self is beyond all characters. And let, let me hear, let me hear your logical fallacy here again, Robert, where you start, your premise is start with the character of yourself. Component we talked about earlier, it's the early education part of them. It's something so deep inside that they can't control it. And you have a character and I have a character. And what it does over time is it creates patterns. We end up falling into patterns in life. In our yeah, world. your ego creates patterns. And you, this is how Robert judges life through the patterns of narcissistic mental illness that Robert has. If you have the mental illness, Robert calls you sane. If you're a sane person and you're skilled and you get things done in the world, Robert calls you expendable and get rid of that person, fire that person that's skilled. World in our oh, you would think right here that I would be exaggerating? Wait till you hear the live stream later on and the big ending is Robert literally tells us that don't hire people on skill. He literally says it. He says it's offensive. Skilled people are offensive and hire people on whether you like them or not. Doesn't that sound stupid when I say it out loud? Boy, you're going to be dumbfounded when you hear Robert say it out loud relationships etc and you can see this over time and that reveals that essence that core that we are often in, in a more negative light so it's robert's gonna judge you robert's he's going around thinking that you have pat you may you may have patterns and you may not robert has a really fucked up way of that he's going to judge you um howard hughes had this pattern all these patterns. He thinks this is your guide to life here. You think that you... And look at Robert Greene. He has um, the Masonic checkerboard and he says the daily laws. Um, Robert Greene is offended by laws. This is everything with Robert. Everything with Robert. The, Robert is offended by truth and follows his opinion. He, his book is all opinion. Robert knows nothing and never has and never will. The, the fucking idiot has the nerve to put daily laws on his book. Enticing people. What, what does that mean? Okay, tell me the daily laws, Robert. It, it's all this shit that's not laws. It's his opinions. It, Robert is coming to some really fucked up assumptions about people. Um, Howard Hughes who made who made Robert the great judge? This is the times we live in when these mentally ill people think that they can parade around their mental illness, judging whether you get a job or not, whether you're allowed to exist or not through Robert Greene's opinion of you. I thought that you had rights. See, that's 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 what's happening here. Robert Greene is taking away your rights and saying Robert Greene gets to judge you, uh, not not any of your true character. See, he's trying to steal from Martin Luther King. 
He can't comprehend Martin Luther King. Um, he's a fucking racist, this Robert fucking Jim Crow Green right here. Of enticing people into this kind of business venture because he was very ambitious, very grandiose. And then he wouldn't deliver. And he wouldn't deliver for various reasons. One thing is he was an insane micromanager. Mm. He had to oversee every single detail of that plane, but he couldn't because he's only one person. And he'd get overwhelmed with information and he'd become paralyzed. How is this? How to train your... Look at the title again. The title is How to Train Yourself to See Through Fake People. Hmm. And the project would never happen. He would be asked to build... It, it looks like Robert Greene just judges everybody. And then Robert Greene tells us how he's greater and smarter and better than everybody. Old know-it-all. This, this fucking guy, his whole life is about beating you down while he's the know-it-all. Uh, Robert Greene's whole life is about calling you a hypocrite while Robert Greene is the hypocrite. Robert, uh, call the FBI on Robert Green. We absolutely need to put this guy in prison for the rest of his fucking life. 100 enormous transport jets for the defense. Fuck, mystery school videos are all about us learning about ourselves, but we have found a criminal so incredibly. Please, I beg every person that watches this video to call the FBI on Robert Green. He should be put in prison for what he's what he's making a living off of. Apartment, and he built only one. You know, the the goose, whatever the thing Spruce is. Bruce Goose, I think yeah. was the name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because he was so paralyzed with he had to control everything, etc. That's Robert. <laughs> Robert is so paralyzed with having to. It, you know, a lot of this. I just made a long video on Robert that's going to be a premiere live. I know I keep on saying it. I mean, wait till you get to the end. Wait till you get to the end where Robert's saying, don't hire people based on their skill. That It's offensive when people are skilled at their jobs. What you do is you hire people based on whether you like them or not. And he just has no problem saying that as, no, that's the world, the new world. Of course, all creativity, talent, and skill, that's been deemed offensive. And do you know what we, we like? The only job, the only way you can get hired anymore is is if you have the narcissistic mental illness. We hire the narcissistic mental illness and we fire all talent and skill. Spilled over in 20, he, was a, he, he produced films and he directed films. That's the way Robert wants your doctor. Robert wants your doctor to operate off. No, your doctor doesn't know how to be a doctor, but Robert decided that he likes your doctor. But see, Robert wants a skilled doctor for himself. See, Robert wants you to live in his world of fucked up opinions where you're just a science project of, of Robert's. Then Robert wants all the skilled people for Robert. See, see what a hypocrite, totalitarian nightmare Robert. I think Robert belongs um, in the insane asylum. I think he belongs in the electric chair dying, being fried in it. We don't need Robert. Um, being the know-it-all, controlling everybody, telling everybody to fire everybody based on if they're skilled. And, and he had the same... Doesn't that sound insane? Yeah. When you, when you repeat the, the, the things that these people say, it really shows how insane it is. Huh? Wouldn't you think that that's really stupid? You would think that that's not even real. No, no, literally. Robert Green says to fire anybody if they're skilled because that's offensive and instead hire people and that's the way that the new world should work you hire people that you like and you fire everybody that's actually skilled or good at their fucking job in any capacity so you in the new world uh, it's too much to talk about and each time it failed and yet people would not pay attention to those failures because they got sucked in to the aura of Howard Hughes, this adventure. I mean, does it, is it not just disgusting looking at this guy? I, I, I feel like I'm making everybody suffer. Pilot, this pilot who would risk his life doing things, which was true. He was very almost... What, what's this guy talking about? Huh? Yes. What? What? He's talking about, he's supposed to be teaching us something or saying something, but it, he's, he's more of his judgment of other people. In, in, in his flying planes, etc. 
So they bought the legend of Howard Hughes. Oh, and, and this is these mentally ill people love to tear down people with accomplishments. So they look for people with accomplishments and then they go, look how I'm so much better than it. No, look at the, the people. They try to they try to just tear down and ridicule every fucking thing. And they weren't seeing the reality was that this man was an awful businessman. Businessman. Where the fuck are these people from? Where the fuck are these people from? Businessman. He was just a terrible businessman, right? He, 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 he Spoonman. You know, and, and the clues were all there. And yet they were falling for the appearance of this really smooth, charismatic man. That's exact. That's exact. That's exactly this guy's advice. This this guy tells you to 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 not hire people that are qualified. Look now. Look at his story. Look at this hypocrite. This this hypocrite now wants to talk about people being qualified for their job. Is that what the dummy wanted to do now? Falling. This idiot who belongs in a concentration camp dying now wants to talk about skilled people are now important. The appearance. Of this really smooth character. Was he likable? That's what he... Uh, there's this appearance of this... That's who Robert Greene is trying to teach you to be. Somebody with no skill. And you're so charismatic. You're such a charismatic liar. And you can't... You don't qualify for the job that you have. And... <laughs> What are you telling us now, Robert? This is this wow. This, this Robert Green has turned into being the greatest teaching aid I have ever found for the mystery school. This dude is the I've never seen a hypocrite so much a one eighty, an exact one eight. This guy will say one thing and then do an exact one eighty on it. And yet they were falling for the appearance of this really smooth, charismatic man. And it came, became comic by the end because he had four or five or six failures in his past. And still he managed to convince people up until like the 50s or 60s to fund his wild projects. So the idea is, to sum it all up, is stop paying attention to people's charm their presence, their facade. He did an absolute 180. I'm going to put both the videos together. He did an absolute, he, in, in the live stream, the premiere, he's telling you to, yeah, you're going to see it. I don't need to keep repeating it. Now he's telling you to hire people on credentials. It's an exact 180. Exactly 180. The 60s to fund his wild projects. So the idea is, to sum it all up, is stop paying attention to people's charm, their presence, their facade, to how excited they are when you first meet them to their resume to the fact that they went to harvard or yale etc and look at their character what lies underneath so if you looked at howard hughes um that was weird hold on you look at what he did he was supposed to say oh uh, look don't he, look what he did look what this fucking shiesty motherfucker did he was supposed to go okay we're gonna rely on their credentials then he said uh okay don't, did you see that? Did you see what this motherfucker did? He was supposed to say, rely on their credentials. And then he went Harvard and then rely on their character. That's all this guy can do. He finds the creativity, talent, and skill offensive. So, wow, what a fucking mental gymnastic mind fuck this guy just did. Uh, let, me, let me play it for you in case you didn't hear it. It's genuinely, I mean, colossal. Look at this one. Charm, their presence, their facade. To how he said he he goes. Don't focus on their facade. Then you would think he would say focus on their credentials. He he said Harvard, and then he said focus on their facade. It's really we. It's a real weird thing where you would think he was supposed to say focus on their credentials, but then he just went arbitrarily goes Harvard. Then he goes, okay, well, focus on their on 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 their character. That that's back to bro. You hate people with skill. You hate people with talent. You hate people that are qualified for the job. And he's trying to tell you a story where he has to tell you that somebody's qualified for the job, but it's not within him. It's not his mental illness will not allow him to say, give the job to qualified people. He he has to. 
He has to, his mental illness dictates that he says, no, no, give the job to somebody else that has the identical mental illness that I do. And all talent and skill and being qualified for the job is irrelevant. And still he managed to convince people up until like the 50s or 60s to fund his wild projects. So the idea is, to sum it all up, is stop paying attention to people's charm, their presence, their facade, to how excited they are when you first meet them, to their resume, to the fact that they went to Harvard, to Yale, etc. And look at their character. With he goes, look at their character. He was supposed to say you should focus on the credentials and make sure that they're qualified. Then he sidestepped that and went right back to no, 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 no. The, the talent and skill. I almost said hire somebody on talent and skill. And if they're qualified, oops, I almost made a boo boo. No, no. Get rid of the people with talent and skill and qualifications. Hire people that have the same narcissistic mental illness that I do. Is underneath. So if you looked at Howard Hughes's character, you would have seen someone deeply insecure and deeply controlling to the point where he could never finish anything. And if you saw that, you would have never signed on to one of his projects and lost millions of dollars, right? So people give signs of this. They give signs of their behavior. They give signs uh, of- this isn't, this isn't how to see through fake people. This is how to manipulate people. We need to put Robert Greene in prison for what he's doing that they're not a team player there we go robert he calls a team player once again there's nothing of qualifications robert is talking about if you have the identical npd it's a mental illness we shouldn't hire people for jobs if they have the same mental illness that we do we should hire them on their qualifications dollars Right? So people give signs of this. They give signs of their behavior. They give signs of the fact that they're not a team player. Not a team player. Um, that I'm going to tell you that, that he doesn't understand what being a team player. I'm a team player. You're a team player. Us that make the world go around, we have to be team players. This dude's literally talking that you're going to get fired if you don't have the same narcissistic mental illness that he does. Why do we, why, why, shouldn't it tip us off that he wants to get rid of all of qualifications? Well, what does he want to get rid of all of qualifications for? What is it? What do you think is the defining factor in hiring? We're right back to the last video. This all this guy talks about is how he's the king and how he judges you. This totalitarian nightmare that's Robert Greene. Please call the authorities. Please call the FBI on Robert Greene. Signs of their behavior. You can use these videos that I'm making. Just show the FBI these videos. Here's the crimes Robert Greene is committing against the general public. Signs of the fact that they're not a team player. Character, I like to decide to, to, to judge is either strong. Oh, char oh, character and judging. He doesn't know what these things are. He should not be in a place of telling people how to hire people and how to judge people. Character, I like to decide to, to, to judge is either strong or weak. You want a strong character for a partner in intimate relationship, for a business partner, for a colleague at work. A strong character can take criticism. Oh, oh, like all the things that I'm doing, Robert? R really, Robert? The number one thing. It's so infuriating. It's so infuriating for Robert just to talk about the ego and call it character. Oh, uh, you have this like character that Robert can't tell his true self from his ego. Do, do you think Robert should be talking about all this shit? You I, I think not. Person who is strong inside can take criticism and can use it constructively. They don't become defensive. A strong person, when they're stressed, they don't crumble. They don't suddenly don't become this whiny little baby. Go, I mean, they 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 can they can handle it. They have. Pre Robert is a tyrant. Robert is just the biggest piece of shit. It's a mind. A strong person can work with other people. Nothing of Robert makes sense. He's just talking about mental illness. He's just talking about Robert likes you if you have NPD.
dominated by their all people. these things. Robert's like a character and this and that and all it Matt all Robert hates everything. He hates everyone and everything, but he loves you because you're exactly like him if you have NPD. But they don't have to have everything on their own terms. A weak character is all the opposite of those traits. So you hire somebody based on their charm, and then you discover when they're stressed. Here we go. Look at Robert. He's doing it again. He got rid of all of qualifications. This was supposed to be, a, it's turning into a video just the same as the last, the end of the last video, where Robert's telling us who to hire in the world. Didn't he say, it's a real weird story where Robert started off telling us, don't fall for the charm of people. No, then you would think he would say, Oh, you gotta re you you rely on qualifications because that's what makes sense. Then Robert didn't say that, and he said rely on if you like somebody or not. Now Robert's telling us to hire people based on if they have NPD. You don't have to have everything on their own terms. A weak character is all the opposite of those traits. So so tell us, Robert, who who should get hired for jobs? People that Robert decides that he likes. So you hire somebody based on their charm, and then you discover when they're stressed that they crumble into pieces, right? You discover that when you criticize them, they get all whiny and defensive and they can't learn. You discover that they can't work together as a yeah, team. Yeah, so that's why you hire qualified people, idiot. You stupid, dumb piece of shit. Want to advance. Please walk outside of your house today and get hit by a car. Please die. Somehow, somehow get cancer, Robert Green, and fucking die. Agenda. You learn that too late because they're already working for you. So judge them before you get involved with people. And I should talk in my books about how there are always signs what the underlying character is. Oh, you did, uh, what they under, oh my God, you didn't even touch on what you should be touching on before this clip ends. Uh, what a, it's just like all of the internet, no context, doesn't make sense at all. We need Robert to continue talking so that he can tell us Robert wants all jobs. You you only get hired if you have NPD. Then he considers that he likes you and you're a great employee and you could never do anything wrong as long as you have the same NPD that I do. Uh, we'll talk about how all creativity, talent, and skill is offensive. So, yeah. Wow. Robert. Robert sure is a, a dose Robert sure is every fucking thing I've ever tried to express to you. Everything I've ever tried to teach to you. Everything I got to teach. Everything. All, all of it is Robert. Every Robert is the ultimate of fucking mental illness thinking that it's enlightenment. Robert's thinking that he's a smart person and he's extremely mentally ill. This needs to stop. These people need to be stopped it needs to stop in our own lives because that's what we're here to do we're here to discover ourselves you know that's what robert soup somehow <laughs> yeah wow yeah so um yeah take a look at robert robert is the world Robert is what the world teaches you. That's why you used to be a self-loather. You used to fucking despise yourself. You used to hate yourself. Do you know why? Because Robert was your teacher. Robert's the world. What Robert is what the world has to offer. Yeah. Fuck the world and what the world has to offer. And while you're working on yourself, because that's what these mystery school videos are really for, while I talk shit about Robert, in this circumstance, please, please do not be afraid to call the FBI on Robert. These people need to be stopped. While the intent is we're all here to fix ourselves. We're all here to witness Robert and witness how we've taken on the narcissistic personality disorder ourselves and rid it from ourselves. But if we want to live in a functioning world, please call the FBI on Robert.